Good morning, everybody, and happy Thursday, aka day zero of Otacon. I just got done finalizing everything, packing everything, getting on my fit. Fit check real quick. I'm wearing this glorious shirt for the Matsuri this afternoon slash evening. When I get to the hotel, I probably won't have enough time to like fully change, put on makeup. So I was like, let me just wear what I'm gonna wear now to save me some time so that's what i decided to do but yeah it's time now to get on the road and see you all in dc okay it took me a little bit to get here and a lot of traffic and some parking issues but i made it we're here at the hotel guys we're here we're here got the room and the people here are amazing because check-in technically wasn't until 4 and it's 12.30 right now, but they were still able to get me a room and it's so nice. And look, they left a little Otakon surprise with a couple candies and a little card. Oh my gosh, the hospitality is on another level. Now that I'm settled in, I have a story for y'all. So as I was coming into the hotel and putting my car in the area for the valet, they told me I had to park in a separate lane so that they could take my car and go. And I had to parallel park behind Sam Mills, but I suck at parallel parking. So poor little me was like inking and irking my car, just trying to make it fit, making sure I didn't hit Sam, making sure I didn't hit any of their items they were unloading. And then at one point, the staff just had to eventually be like, you know what, just go, we'll do it. And I just felt so embarrassed. I'm like, my first five minutes of being here at Otakon, I've already made a fool of myself in front of a famous cosplay. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. And that's, that's what I did. Yeah! Guys, I totally forgot about this view. Last time I was here, I actually had one of the rooms that looked into the hotel area. This year I don't, but like, they have these little sitting areas where you can just like take it in anyway. I wish Katsukon did this, to be honest. Okay, rule number one of being in the city, read the menus. I just paid 30 bucks for a salad because I thought it said that adding a crab cake would total it from $12 to $15. Apparently it was plus $15 to add the cake. Okay, so I decided to check out this place called the Peach Cobbler Factory because there's one opening up close to where I live and so I wanted to see if it was good before I try it later on. And so I got a salted caramel brownie. This thing is huge. They also didn't give me silverware, so we're gonna have to eat this the old fashioned way. After eating that brownie and having a little bit of downtime to myself, it is now time to go get this bad boy prop checked and time for me to get my badge. Okay, I got my badge and I got my hook checked and now I'm just gonna kinda peruse the center on this Thursday afternoon. Okay, we got our little Otakon goodie bag. So let's go through it and see what they gave us. All right, first up, we've got this magazine. It basically just has like info on who's gonna be there, the events, whatnot, the map, but like this artwork, honestly, so stunning. And even on the back, I love the little crab that says hello, so cute. Next, we got a foldable map of everything, so look at that. <gasps> More sick artwork! It's like a foldable poster, that's smart. See like on the back is like the whole map of the convention center. I think whoever designed that was really, really thinking there. They they cooked, they cooked with that. Last but not least is my lanyard. Uh, here's a little close up of it. It's got like different artwork this year. It's like Power Rangers and I think just like original artwork. It looks like there's just staff members cosplaying. But again, with the little crab, I, I love how their mascot's a crab, it's adorable. I went ahead and freshened up a bit. I put on some lipstick and concealer. I am now gonna go and hit up the Matsuri and see what that's all about. Spinning the Nando's wheel. What will you get? Oh, oh. Half a chicken! Let's go! Oh shit, oh shit, oh! A bottle of sauce! Okay, the Matsuri was amazing. I hung out with a lot of new friends that I made and it was super epic. There was a lot of cool stuff to do and lots of fun conversations that were had. And so now I'm going to go back to my hotel and grab something to eat for dinner. I've just reminded myself to vlog because we have friends. What's up? 
Me when I'm vlogging and my opponent is Lily? <laughs> Me when I'm in a making me jokes competition and my opponent is Kyle. Uh, me when I'm in a vlogging competition and my opponent is Lily. That'll get that'll get the bag. Me when I'm in a DC touring competition and my opponent is DC Taurus. <laughs> that one doesn't even make sense. Go, we're almost there. Get the boba. Okay, you guys, wrapping up day zero. I'm so excited that I ran into those friends of mine. We had such a fun night and we just were so goofy and I love it. And so tomorrow I will be in cosplay, obviously. So stay tuned. Hello and good morning, everybody. It is officially day one. I literally just woke up, but I am still so excited. I'm gonna freshen up, eat some food, get into cosplay, and then head down to the floor. All right, I am ready to go in the gate to fit. Straighten my hair, put it in a bun, got my dad's stolen t-shirt on. We are ready to hit the floor. All right, first crowd shot of the con. Look at that, it is jumping. Not crazy, which is really nice. My Toji is not responding, and I have seen four other Tojis so far, but all with worms that don't look like my Tojis. And so I am wandering around aimlessly trying to find this guy. It's Bill. Bill Cypher, the one and only, at Otakon. That's crazy, he wasn't on the celebrity guest page. I found him! Uh, buddy here broke. Uh, I just named him though. What, what's the name? Sir Warmington the third. What about the first and second? Uh, they're losers. Oh. We're here at the How to Volleyball panel, sponsored by Haikyuu. We're gonna make sure that Warmington does not get hurt. He's gonna die. I know how to play volleyball. I don't believe her. Jump float, pass serve. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yay. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's only canon for Toji to to hurt me with the sword. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we we are doing the flower crown workshop, putting things together. Fun fact, they actually ran out of flowers, so we all got a little bit, but they just brought more. So our flower crowns are going to be a lot more full. Someone's having a crisis. Gerald, don't cry. I don't think he's crying. I think you are. Don't cry, Gerald. I think you're crying. It's okay. I'll make another one, Gerald. We're pretty now. We have flower crowns. How adorable. We're getting lunch. It's very nice outside. It's hot. It's nice. We got our crowns. Yay! Kyle, prove your smartness and say something intelligent. When Alex said that, that was like the funniest shit. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. That's On Skibbity, Ohio, Riz. Oh my god. On the side of Skibbity, Yacht. Mm -hmm. Dow, would you like to say anything intelligent? Skibbity, skibbity. <laughs> <laughs> Looks Look at that, yo! Log <laughs> them all, yo! That's crazy. Choji, no, trying to tie his shoe, had no, to take off care. the worm. An unfortunate circumstance. What are you do- what? Oh, okay. Yeah, we have people here, you can tie your shoes for you. That's okay. Okay, Toji. Okay, the artist alley was really good. I was able to find a lot of merch for my friends and a little something for myself. Now I'm going to head to the dealer's hall. I originally wanted to go to the JJK meetup, but when I got there, it was just like kind of too big and I didn't really see my friends there, so I decided to ditch it. But don't worry, I'll go to the One Piece one tomorrow. All right, since I'm back in the hotel resting for a bit before the formal, I figured I would do a mini merch haul. So first, I picked up this small soccer print from Windbreaker. I absolutely adore it. Then I got a couple of keychains for my friends. I got one of them a free run and one of them a Kuro. Fun fact about this one, I actually have a Kita keychain just like this one from the same artist. And so I figured I would buy another one of my friend's favorite Kuro to match. And then finally, this was actually some merch I got yesterday. But me and my friends went to Gongcha 
and they're doing a collab with Final Fantasy right now. So they have a little shakable boba keychain. All right, here is the formal Gato fit for the ball. Got the stitches, got the dress, got the makeup. So excited to get down there. I'm really excited to also see everyone else's dresses because I'm telling you, at the formal ball for any big con, people go all out and I am stoked to see what people are gonna bring. Swifty to Swifty communication. You would never think it at Otacon, but we are here. We're invading every space, talking about surprise songs. This one over here is listening intently. What's your favorite album? He doesn't know the album. <laughs> Mine is Reputation in Midnight. Her, I'm a lover girly. Yes. I found Zuko here at the formal ball, tearing it up. The fit is fire, I must say. See what I did there? <laughs> I have officially taken off all my makeup and called it a night for Friday. Really, really great day one. Loved it. But I'm super excited for day two tomorrow. It's going to be so fun. Good morning, everybody. It is day two of Otakon. So, so excited to get into Crocodile. I'm going to look so good. I have some good transition ideas to film, too. And Alrighty, here is the croc makeup. I'm so excited. I feel so good in this cosplay, I swear. And not to mention, the boots that I am wearing for this cosplay, they're real crocodile skin. Like, I'm not even messing with you. All right, day two, more crowds, more fun. People have been so nice to me so far today. It's been so great. I got so many compliments. I'm like blushing. It's not the blush on my makeup, I swear. Can I just say, I absolutely love it when families bring their kids to cons because they're always dressed in the cutest outfits. Like today, I saw little kids dressed as Mashal characters, Toy Story characters. It is so adorable. Bonus points if they're cosplaying like a family from an anime IRL. Brian is going to try his hand at the Gamer Sup's claw machine. What do you hope to win, Brian? I hope to win whatever I can grab. I'll go for it. All right, let's see. Grandma's ashes is a flavor. What? <laughs> that that was a statement. Oh no, so close. It's okay. You get one more attempt, right? Yeah, but I don't think anything is possible. Here we go. I believe in you. Uh, all right, dealer's hall was a success. I didn't get anything, but I did get a business card for this really good chocolate seller. So I'm gonna get some probably tomorrow or today. I haven't decided yet, but now it's time to go to the One Piece meetup. Look at everybody at the One Piece meetup. They are all so cool. There's so many of us. I cannot believe it. That One Piece speed up was incredible. I met so many new friends and everybody looked amazing, but my feet are literally killing me. So I'm gonna go back and rest for a bit before I continue the rest of my day. I took some well needed time to have some R&R. Now I'm back on the con floor because I am going on the hunt for chocolate because I found this really good confectionery business in the dealer hall. So I'm going back before they close to pick up a box. Look at how beautiful these chocolates are. I am obsessed. First up, we have chocolate cheesecake. Then we have milk sea salt caramel. Then we have triple chocolate. Then we have tiramisu. Then we have dark espresso. And then we have creme brulee. First bite. Mm. So good. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly, that one, yeah, there we go. Okay, everybody, I am calling it on day two of Otakon. I was gonna go out and party a little bit late in the hotel lobby, but I am so tired. This happened at Katsu, too, where I said I was gonna go out, and then I just got kind of, like, so comfy in my bed. So, it's happened yet again. But today was honestly so fun, so busy. Like, it was just so good. I don't even need it to continue anymore. I just have to rest up well and be ready for day three. Good morning, everybody. It is the final day of Otakon. Very sad to say that, but I'm still gonna try to make the most out of what time I have today. I do have the high meet meetup at 11, so I'm really excited to go to that. But before we even go downstairs, 
I gotta pack up this room. Okay, here is the final cosplay of Otakon this year. Just a very minimalistic casual Sakuza to round out the con. I didn't want to put on really any makeup just because I will be leaving and driving immediately after the Haikyuu meetup. And plus it kind of makes sense because like, you know, when they're playing volleyball, they, they can't have makeup on and all this went off. First thing to do before any con day is fuel up. I decided to go to Starbucks today. I got a hot coffee and I had a side of ice so I could cool this off, but it was so filled to the rim that I actually ended up pouring it in here. So I have both a hot coffee and an iced coffee. I also have a turkey bacon, cheddar, and egg white sandwich. Woo! V Cora ever. Let's go. Yes. Slay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm currently on my way to the very last event of Otakon for me, which is the Haikyuu meetup happening at 11. So I'm really excited to see some of my friends and get cool pictures with one of my favorite fandoms. Ronettes! At the Haikyuu meetup. Let's go! Costumes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Third time's a charm. So that was a nice surprise too. But now my Otakon has officially come to an end. So it's time to grab my luggage, get into the car and drive home. Obviously, as you can tell, I am now back at home. I fully showered, fully unpacked, fully unwinded from this epic magical weekend. I'm so glad I decided to go back. On the logistical end, everything was beautiful. On the social end, everything was wonderful. All around 10 out of 10 experience. I definitely hope that I can go back next year. I'm going to try my best to do so. For the foreseeable future, I know I'm definitely going to Katsukon 2025, so expect a vlog then. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video.